everybody, how's it going? I want to get my impressions on Firewatch. This is the uh, brand new indie game uh, that's about exploration and has a really cool narrative and things like that. So these are my impressions after about three hours of playing. The game is supposedly four hours long, so I'm, you know, about three quarters of the way through. Um, but I do have to, I do want to start off this video just by saying one thing, and that's Firewatch is intoxicating. This game just sucks you into the into its world like immediately it, it, it it's kind of cool because it, you look at it you know and you're watching a youtube video and stuff and you're like oh this is cool you kind of like you know just wandering this you know uh national park you know th this protected area you know as as a forest ranger and you know it's it's an interesting concept all right you know wh whatever right but this game has even though that on the surface of what you're looking at what you see is is not definitely what you get here um, there's so much more to this game than just you watching, um, you know, a video about it and you hearing my impressions and things like that. This game really just, it, it just immerses you immediately in its atmosphere. And this game just, it, it just bathes itself in atmosphere. I'm going to start off by talking about the graphical style here because it, it is really cool. You guys are seeing um, a cell shaded you know, type of style for, for the artistic nature here. Uh, but one of the coolest things that is that this game just utilizes color to its full potential. And there's not a lot of games today that utilize color still. Unfortunately, we're still kind of in this gray, desaturated, you know, atmosphere with worlds where a lot of things kind of look the same and everything kind of has one color palette. And that's just what you see for the majority of the experience. You know, it doesn't surprise you. You kind of get used to it. And so a lot of the stuff looks the same. Well, in this game, it just, it, it, it bakes itself in color here. I mean, you'll be walking around like this open grass area and you can just, the, the orange hazing of the, from the sun and stuff like that, that just, it, it, it has this great bloom effect and you can tell that it's just really, really super hot outside. You can feel it almost with how great the, uh, the this game sets up its atmosphere. And then there are times where it's kind of like a, have, have cold nights and things like that. And the mist that's kind of, you know, setting itself on the ground. The sky is blue, but well lit. And everything's just sharp and vivid and mysterious. And you can hear the wind. It kind of has like the this whistling wind and everything like that just really adds to its atmosphere. And then you're walking through, you know, this this great tree forest and uh, this, you know, I said tree forest, but this great forest, you know, with like there's tons of vegetation around and there's so much greenery and it's just, it, it's beautiful. This game uses color ex ex exceptionally well and it does it in a way that very few games do. And combined with its great color palette and its great sense of atmosphere, what also helps set, set up that atmosphere is the audio direction here. And uh, a lot of people have commented on the lack of wildlife, and you don't see that much wildlife throughout the game. And I do have to say, without with three hours of me playing, I haven't seen any, anything drastic. I've heard, you know, birds chirping around, and I've heard some elk and things like that, but I don't, I haven't actually seen them. In fact, I've seen more wildlife in uh, Unravel, which I just beat today, as a matter of fact, than I did with uh, Firewatch, you know, you know, and it's kind of interesting considering Firewatch is this, you know, you expect, okay, a lot of wildlife and things like that, but no, that's not the case. Um, I think it was a design decision to honestly go with that because I think they didn't want the player feeling that they were endangered to explore. They were, you know, going to be uh, endangering themselves by exploring the world. I think that they wanted them to have just a nice con kind of calm thing and just take in the world and the sights and things like that. And this game just does that very, 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 very well. Um, it, it, it's just really, it, it, it's a really great, great experience. And uh, when you're playing it, I mean, you'll just be walking around, you know, get going to your objective, and then you, you'll, you'll notice how the wind kind of whistles in the speakers, and uh, you get this sense of atmosphere, the sense of belonging, like you're actually there. And it's when it hits that level of immersion, it, it, it's just really exciting, and it's really invoking the play. I also want to comment on the voice acting here. Everyone pretty much knows this if you watch the videos, but the voice acting is superb 100% throughout the entire experience. 
it's not it's not like okay at one point you know you have like this really doctored game demo that they show with good voice acting the voice acting here is exemplary it's some of the best voice acting like you have ever heard and it's not just the fact that the actors can portray a realistic interpretation of what the actual words you know would be like or how the actual uh, characters would would react in the given situation it's not only that but it's the realistic and really down-to-earth writing that uh, whoever wrote the story for this game is able to accomplish these characters feel like tangible people they feel like people you know that that are that are your neighbors people that that you know in real life they have qualities to them and they have substance and they have dark uh secrets and you know a a, a dark past that they don't want to discuss at times and you can feel this tension between the two characters since there's really only two characters in the game or really one other character than other than yourself that you're interacting with throughout the entire experience and it has this great mystery story going along too and there's a real sense of danger here um that these both these characters are trying to figure out like are they being watched by someone is someone trying to kill them and then there's people that are missing and you know these the characters are kind of you know kind of keeping to themselves they don't want really want to get involved with what what's going on it's elements like these that really bring the story you know to to, a, to really great levels to to a really great height and uh, it's it's when the game hits those moments which it does flawlessly throughout most of the experience it, it, it becomes one of the most incredibly immersive experiences that you have ever played. And uh, it, it's just an overall really great game. I do want to comment on the gameplay here. I know a lot of people are going to look at this game and immediately say, it's a walking simulator, it's a walking simulator, and blah, 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 blah. This game does have a sense of interaction. It does have a sense of exploration. And uh, it is not just you walking the whole time. There are dialogue choices and different dialogues will result in different types of conversations. I'm not talking about like, oh, this character said this instead of that, but it ultimately led to the same conclusion. I'm talking about conversations that you would have never had if you you know didn't choose that option. There there are branching dialogue paths here and great voice um voice work was put in and and also writing was put in to make the di make each dialogue feel worthwhile so far there's been many different choices i've had as far as dialogue goes for this game but all of them feel like they're progressing with character development and they all feel emotional in some way they all add to the character with real depth and personality and it just does that so so well and i just love how the game just it, it allows you to really create your own path um you do have a sense, you know, keep in mind you are a forest ranger and you do have like, you know, your own kind of uh, safe house, if you will. So there is that sense of, of I've been here before and now I'm here again um, atmosphere. You know, you start to get to know the area around you a little bit more and the game progresses its story by the amount of days. Now these days aren't in sequence. It doesn't go like, okay, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. It doesn't do that. It will skip ahead and it'll be like, okay, you'll play like the first two days and then all of a sudden it'll be like, okay, day nine, day 63, day 77. You know, it, it keeps skipping to these days, um, throughout the game and you can, you know, see how the characters kind of, um, uh, you know grow to like each other over time and overall uh, their friendship reaches new heights and you can have the choice to engage in relationships with with this person and uh, if you guys see my my 4k video firewatch in 4k you saw the beginning of the game and it's it the game asks you question questions and gives you situations in which you feel uh, almost uncomfortable it gives you like a real world situation it, it makes you think and these choices impact your um, other progress in terms of these conversations that you're having with the other game's, you know, narrated character um, that you're talking through throughout the game. So overall, I mean, I have to give Firewatch just a thumbs up. It, it, it's just it's a great it's a great experience so far. I'm really enjoying it. It has this great mystery aspect to it, and I really can't uh, wait to find out what happens next. I heard the game's really short, only about four hours long is what people are saying, so I honestly should beat it um, tomorrow or today that I'm actually uploading this. So um, I shouldn't have that far left to go, but I'm, I'm really hoping that the game does have this great mystery element and overall does come to a really satisfying conclusion. Um... There is a there is a topic I want to quickly discuss before I, I do leave here, and it's it's the whole walking simulators thing. You guys know that I am 
really progressive about the gaming industry and that I want the best for, you know, game development as a whole in terms of the creative level. Um, and it really irritates me when people call games walking simulators. And so what I want to ask of, of each and every one of you that are watching this, and I know that a lot of people aren't going to necessarily give a shit, and that's okay. But to each and every one of you who are watching this and you actually do care about games to some level, um, other than just them being fun time wasters, um, I want you guys to really... I, I want to create a new genre for these type of styles of games. For for Firewatch, for games like uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, um, you know, games... What's another game that I played recently that was kind of like this, now that I'm thinking about it? Uh, you know, Her Story. You know, these type of games that don't have significant amounts of gameplay of like a AAA title or even some, you know, indie titles along those lines, but have a really great story to tell. I want to start calling these games narrative adventure games. This is the genre I want to create. This is the genre I want to push. It is unfair for people to basically just flat out call these games walking simulators because that's not all they are. That's in terms gameplay is just one facet of a video game what it's capable of there's dynamic storytelling that you can do it's optional story video games are the only medium where storytelling is option it optional and honestly really also i guess music is another entertainment medium where you don't necessarily have to say anything right but in terms of video games you don't necessarily need a story to make a game right but some of these games that come out have a focus on their storytelling and that's what they love and that's what they push and that's what the game is made for to convey a story with meaning and purpose one that you can take outside the game and apply it to your life and make it better so i don't want to call these games walking simulators anymore i think that's incredibly disrespectful to what these developers are trying to do and i think it's games like this that are pushing the narrative aspect of video games and what they're capable of and so I want to start calling these games narrative adventure games, and I hope that you guys will not only understand, but will push for this too. We need to make these, these games need to have their own genre. It's, it, it's just, it's unacceptable to, for them to sit here and being bullied by, you know, I guess casual gamers or gamers that just don't necessarily care about gaming as a whole. It's, it's unfair. We need to call these games narrative adventure games. That way people know what to expect. People will come in here and they'll be like, oh, that game, I, I, I don't like that genre. You know, at least they can say that instead of being flat, flat out calling them, oh, they don't, they barely have any gameplay. It's all about storytelling and you know, I, I only play games to waste fun or have fun time and waste, or waste time and have fun. <laughs> but really, we need to push for this, all right? We need to create a new genre. We're going to call them narrative adventure games. Look, it even has a fun twerk to it. What's narrative adventure games shortened? Nag nag <laughs> you can call them nags all right but i don't i don't care narrative adventure games is a genre that i want to call them it makes sense that's exactly what they are narrative adventure games so let's push for this guys i don't i, I just i i let's call these games there that that from now on honestly i do want to i do want to push this and I do want these games to be known and have their own genre, which they can flourish and which they can be a part of and not feel isolated from everything else because gamers deem that or uh, some gamers deem that, you know, these experiences aren't really video games. All right. Narrative adventure games, games can are, are dynamic. It's a dynamic medium. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to fit a certain criteria of rules. It's insignificant. There's no rules for art, all right. One of my one of the greatest quotes that I could quote from um, one of my one of my old college professors, he said that only the mediocre mind creates rules for art, and that's exactly that's it's it's exactly true. I'll, I'll never forget that quote, honestly. So, honestly, let's call these games narrative adventure games. I think it it's a, it's, it rings a good bell, and uh, it's a great genre. And uh, it's one that these games can be a part of and not feel, again, isolated from the rest. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've been playing Firewatch, let me know what you think about it. And uh, I'm looking forward to completing this game. And uh, I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.